Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for coming back for part three of my uh, fire and flame tutorial. Uh, we're just going to show you how to apply this to uh, different things. Uh, let's see what comes up. This is just a short little follow-up. Okay, so we've got uh, our little flame here on a black background. So what we're going to do is select all. Okay, edit, copy. Alrighty, let's go ahead and minimize that and let's open some up and see how, see how we can apply that to something. What do we got here? How about a church? Oh, I haven't set any churches on fire recently. Not that you know of. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so we're going to do an edit paste and obviously this flame is way bigger than that picture so first off I'm going to set it to screen. Okay, now I'm going to shrink it down so we're going to do an edit transform scale and let's do it to since I can't reach the edges off the picture I'm just going to change this to 50 percent and see what it does 50 percent 50 there we go we got it back on the screen okay alrighty let's try it one more time edit transform scale okay I'm gonna get this down there now if you notice how I've got it set the screen you can see through the flames it looks a little bit more realistic okay just adjusting the shape and the size <laughs> okay there we go ah look at that there's flames coming out the window ah parishioners are running ah it's on fire not that I'm condoning setting churches on fire which I'm not there you go so that's what it looks like to put it into one picture okay so let's try it on another one see what we can do Alrighty, what other files have we got open? Uh, picture 220. Woo! Look at that one. That's my dog. That's my dog, Louie. Got a little bit of red eye action going there. Okay, so edit, paste. See, now the flame is a little smaller on this one because that picture came directly out of my camera, so it's a little bigger. So again, we're going to set this to screen. Okay, that flame is not quite as visible. It's woo. Okay. <laughs> what what you got there is your basic Weimerheimer dog with a flame on his head. So let me see. <laughs> Edit. Transform. Let's rotate that a little bit. That's your that's your basic flame headed Weimerheimer right there. That's a that's a rare breed. Okay. <laughs> we can transform that a little bit. Just make it a little bigger, whatever we want to do with that. He is pretty. He is a pretty uh, flame-headed dog. He's a he's a knucklehead, Louie. He's crazy. Okay, now you can just take the eraser tool and get it to fit the shape of his head. There you go. No wonder he's panting because his head's on fire. Actually, that looks kind of looks like he's got a flame mohawk. That's kind of cool, Louie. Louie. That's a that's a demon dog right there. That's a demon whammer on it with a flame head and the, and the red eyes. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Let's try another one. Okay, so how we can add this to a picture? Open screaming. Ah. <laughs> okay. So edit, paste. Okay, that picture is considerably smaller, so we're gonna have to shrink the flame down. First, let's set it to screen. There we go. This one doesn't show up as good because the background is light. Let's move that over a little bit. Ah, he's so hot! Oh no, my head on fire! Oh no! Okay, so there you go. Ah, we are burning to death! Oh, put us out, please! Please! Okay, I don't even know what that came from. Well, there you go. So that's how to add your flames to your pictures. Fire! Fire! Not that I'm condoning burning anybody. But... Ah, oh, it's so hot. Ah. Okay, so anyway, that's what you do with the pictures. So <laughs> the flames, you can add them to your pictures. You could probably make flames for the back of rockets, flames off a, a fake campfire. You could use uh, the flames in any number of ways. Uh, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe if you like, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. And uh, if you have your own tutorials, 
please uh, add them to your comments and we'll get other people to come look at your tutorials. Uh, and that's about it already. Well, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks a lot and you have a great day. Bye-bye now.